Okay, good day. Uh, today we are going to uh, continue our lecture on uh, preparing uh, for paper writing. Uh, we're in the uh, in the last session. We already talked about how we uh, create introduction body of uh, body of the paper and also the ending and also how we. Uh, appreciate and acknowledge people who already uh, did their research that we're going to use as our uh, references and also how to give uh, thanks and also and also uh, we remind we reminded that uh, appreciating and also acknowledging people who also part of our uh, project for example is also a thing that need to be addressed because it's part of the ethics that uh, one scientist must uh, do in order to have uh, good credibility for their uh, career, for example. Okay, uh, in this case, in this uh, lecture, uh, 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 supposedly we are going to talk about how we present information with illustration and based on our uh, schedule, Okay. Based on our schedule, we already talked about many things from uh, from choosing your research topic and then how do we manage our time in order to have an effective uh, working time for uh, researching, uh, which include paper writing and also uh, creating uh, slides, presentations, and also uh, we already talked about how to avoid plagiarism, which uh, basically it is one of the uh, one of the uh, serious conduct of uh, scientific uh, of uh, scientific uh, 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 violation. Okay, one one of the scientific uh, conduct violations, uh, which also. Uh, one of many uh, things that we need to consider because the uh, ethics in science, for example, uh, is not only uh, covered about plagiarism, but also many other things that we already uh, introduced on the, on the lecture. And then uh, in a brief lecture, we also, uh discuss or talk about the ways on how to review scientific literature to get information in order for us to have a good story a good background or a good reason why we do uh, such uh, uh research for example and then in the last lecture which is on uh tuesday we talk about how to write uh, papers in terms of how to write introduction body of uh, the paper and also the ending etc and so on so the last part of this uh, lecture is going to be how to present numerical data constructing scientific figures and uh, writing a research paper so uh, since next week okay next week we're going to have our first major assignment okay uh, if you already have this uh, on your on your laptop or, or your own gadget, uh, or uh, you should know that on the fifth week we are going to have our first major assignment submitted, which is the uh, introduction part of your paper uh, of your scientific paper. So what we're going to do is that. Uh, you need to write the introduction part only, okay? The introduction part only of your uh, of your proposed uh, paper, okay? Uh, which is going to be uh, based on a selection by your own uh, from the selected area that you are interested on, or the thing that you are. currently working on uh, as part of your 
uh, final project. We're going to have a workshop, uh, and that workshop is basically I'm going to give you time to write it. Okay, uh, even though actually you have a week to do the uh, to do the uh, introduction uh, part writing. Okay, uh, but uh, I'm going to allocate our lecture time to to talk with you and then to discuss with you whether you have problems in terms of uh, writing the introduction part. So here I'm so 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 instead of uh, giving you uh, lectures on how we uh, present our data and result in graph and charts, I'm going I'm I'm just going to ask you about the topics okay the proposed topics that you're going to uh, write for the upcoming assignment okay so so okay so we so uh without further ado i guess i'm just going to roll up the attendance list okay uh i've talked with uh, arvian uh, just a couple of minutes ago that uh, he was ill at the moment so uh, hopefully, uh, he, he, he still can uh, find a good topic to present, okay, uh, that he needs to uh, submit next week as the uh, first assignment, okay, as the first major assignment uh, of this class. And then uh, as a follow-up, is uh, I... I remind everybody that the topic that you're going to choose is uh, is basically free. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm giving you freedom to choose any topic that that you are interested in. So it doesn't need to be uh, the topic of your final project, but it can be related to that. Okay. But if you are happy to uh, or if you are willing to present some part of your research topic. That's also fine, okay? And that is basically the uh, things that the uh, physics study programs wants you to have uh, uh, basically uh, as, the prep as your preparation for your, um, for your exam, for your uh, final project one uh, uh, defense for, uh, as, 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 as a trial or as an exercise for your uh, uh, for your uh, first uh, final project exam. So uh, if you have if, if you're going to choose the topic of uh, if you're going to choose the same topic or uh, something that is related to your uh, final project, that will be fine. And it is basically aligned are in line with the uh, study program's uh, objective. But if you're going to choose for other things that might interest you, but is still related to physics or science in general, but then that is also fine, okay? <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to roll up uh, the names now. So is Balia Elfata in the classroom? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Baloya, uh, do you have a topic that uh, you're going to use, or the topic? Uh, do you have? Do you already have a topic that you want to use as uh, the uh, as your paper writing and also your presentation later on? Yeah, I already have, sir. Mm -hmm. No, and what is it? It is uh, artificial uh, using artificial neural network for. Magnetotolerant inversion. Oh, okay. Uh, artificial, artificial neural network for MT. Uh, yeah, MT. MT for inversion. MT analysis or MT processing or MT uh, 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 data acquisition. Uh, it is supposed to be in version, sir. The oh, okay, it is for in version. Okay. Is this part of your uh, final project or it is not related at all? Yeah, it is part of my oh, final okay. project. Okay, 
thank you. Uh, well, thank you for sharing your uh, proposed topic, Paulia. So that we can move on to the next student, which is Muhammad Rido. Muhammad Rido Nurul Isa is yes, is Muhammad Rido in the classroom. Yes. Sir. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, what is your proposed topic? Uh, my proposed topic is. Uh, could you speak louder because I cannot hear you? Uh, could you put your microphone near your uh, mouth, please? Uh, my proposed topic for my uh, research for this mm -hmm. scientific communication is a uh, long offset elect electricity uh, sensitivity tom uh, tomography for okay long geothermal. offset uh, resistivity method uh, uh, tomography tomography okay tomography, yes. long offset uh, resistivity tomography Okay, and this is also uh, uh, part of your uh, final project? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, do you mind uh, share who is your advisor for this one? Uh, my ad advisor for my uh, final project is Mr. Bagus Endar. Oh, okay. Okay. So it so the the uh, the objective of this one is going to be a uh, hydrothermal or geothermal site, uh, as you mentioned, or is it for petroleum? Uh, for geothermal. Oh, geothermal. Okay. Okay. Thank you, uh, Rido. So that we can move on to Muhri Iza. Is Muhri Iza in the classroom? Okay, Muhri Iza. Okay, uh, he's not present at the moment. So uh, I would like to call Zafiri Fadil. Zafiri Fadil Jauhari. Fadli, sorry. Zafiri Fadli Jauhari. Okay, uh, no response. Oops, sorry. Uh, Angita Ananda Kire. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, uh, Angita, uh, do you have a proposed topic for the scientific communication assignment? Uh, yes, uh, it's related to my final project about mm -hmm. okay. radiotherapy. Okay, Ra radiotherapy. Therapy. Therapy uh, for? What cancer or what? Uh, uh, 3D radiation dose estimation with photon energy based on oh, okay. so, uh, radiotherapy in terms of uh, radiation dose, right? Yes. Radiation dose estimation. Dose estimation. Okay. Uh, would you like to uh, share to the class about the? Uh, the the, uh, the the illness that you're going to treat here is it cancer or is it uh, 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 what, what is it? Uh, kidney rock kidney or something uh, um, no it's about uh, the tools mm, uh, okay. yeah okay so it's more on the uh, on the optimization of the estimation of dosage itself, right? It's, it's not for curing, I guess. Yeah. Mm, okay. All right. So thank you, Angita, for sharing your uh, proposed topic so that we can move on to Hans. Hans Simanjore. Is Hans in the classroom at the moment? Okay. There are no hands. Uh, what about uh, Jovan? Jovan Ezra Yahya? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, what, uh, do you have uh, a topic that you want to uh, working on on the uh, presentation and paper? Uh, yes, yes mm -hmm. about uh, RSSI Wi-Fi based navigation application. RSSI -I RSSI. navigation. RSSI navigation system. Yes, navigation system. Uh, is this smartphone. 
Oh, on Android for on wow, Android smartphone. And this is part of your final project, or it is? Uh, uh, yes, yeah, it's related mm, okay. to my final project. Are you working on with uh, Pamaman or Bunina? Uh, I'm currently work with working with Bunina. Oh, Bunina. Okay. So yeah, because I'm kind of familiar with the with the uh, with the uh, uh, topic since she is uh, working or she has a student that uh, that that final project was examined by me. So I kind of familiar with the topic uh, a little bit. Well, with the topic itself, so it's kind of familiar. Okay, thank you, Jovan. Uh, so we could uh, move on to Nabila Safli Ramdani. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, do you have a chosen topic at the moment? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A random agent based financial price price model. Oh, econophysic. Okay, random. Yeah. Ran random base. Random uh, agent base. Oh, so sorry. Random agent based financial price model. Okay. Financial price model. Finance C though, with C. Financial model. Financial price model. And I believe that you are working under Pacet. Or mm, Palinus yes. oh, with Pajap. Okay, thank you, uh, Nabila. Thank you, and sir. then we are moving on to Rivka. Uh, Rivka Rahayu. Uh, yes, sir. Do you have topic at the moment? Yes, sir. It's about uh, figure out acceleration and why is using mm. uh, past earthquake data. Okay, so this is uh, your proposed final project with Pagunawan, I guess. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, sir. With Pagunawan. Acceleration. Acceleration for earthquake. Using uh, earthquake data. Okay. Uh, using earthquake data. Okay. Uh, it, is, it is fine topic because it's basically a continuation of your a continuation of your uh, internship, I guess? Yes, sir. Okay. Ah, good. Very good. Okay. Uh, thank you, Rivka. Uh, now we are moving on to Nermina. Is Nermina in the classroom? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, could you tell us about your chosen topic? Uh, okay, my topic is related to my final project. Mm -hmm. uh, is from Econophysics, mm -hmm. uh, and the title is um, maybe about sentiment analysis um, of oh, online sentiment. learning on Twitter during the COVID-19 pandemic using net knife based method. From Twitter during pandemic. Uh, yeah, but during the object pandemic. maybe uh, change. Are, 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 uh, 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 a sentiment analysis on a certain stock or a sentiment analysis on a certain issue if i'm if i'm if i if i may for more uh, information about this uh, uh can certain issue uh like online learning or uh, oh, media digital okay okay so the uh, the uh, the sentiment uh, the the the, uh, the object is yeah. not yet to be determined, but you're going to look for a sentiment analysis from Twitter during pandemic, uh, during pandemic, uh, about a certain topic. For example, for example, as you mentioned, this is about uh, 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 online learning as a trend. So on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you, Nermina. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Yeah. Welcome. Uh, we are moving on to Ayunda Putri yes, Melana. Melina. Yes. yes uh, uh, could you share your uh, proposed topic? Uh, yes, my topic is about uh, 
consumer behavior in e-commerce uh, using okay, consumer behavior in e-commerce in 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 e-commerce uh, is it a local e-commerce or uh, international uh, e-commerce or is a mix local oh okay commerce uh, using a agent based modeli, modeling method okay okay using agent based Modeling. Yeah. Right, so this is also a, a under supervision of Pak Acep. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. thank you, Ayunda. Okay, thank so you. we are moving on to Fadila Rizalul Yahya. Yes, sir. Okay, um, uh, what is your chosen topic for this class, for your assignment? Topic is uh, about econophysics, that is analysis mm -hmm. of Brownian motion on Jakarta Islamic Index stock prices. Analysis uh, on BEG. During time. Okay, BEG using. Excuse me. In, using certain period, such as during pandemic. Oh, oh analysis of BEG stock prices using uh, what method? If I if I may. Brownian motion. Sir. Oh, Brownian motions. Sorry. I, I didn't I didn't uh, clearly uh, listen. Brownian, Brownian. So it's basically a random uh, movement by a cert by a particle. Okay, under a certain energy level. Brownian, uh, Brownian. Okay, uh, and the and have you? Uh, uh, do uh, does, uh, is is this also uh, under supervision of Pak Acep or Pak Linus? Yes, sir. Pak Acep. Pak Acep. Uh, uh, has he uh, tells you about the period of the of the analysis? Uh, is it only during pandemic season, or is it uh, from a certain uh, year? Um, not yet. Oh, okay, so you just uh, on the on the preliminary or in the beginning stage of of uh, literature review, I guess, from this method. You still studying about this, or you or you are uh, on the still on the on the starting uh, point or on the on the starting uh, stage of learning about the Brownian model and yes. etc. and so on, I guess. Padilla? Yes. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, the first oh, okay. stage of okay. Okay. Mm, okay. Mm, okay. Okay. Thank you, Fadila. Uh, okay. So let us move on to Rati Pratiwi. Yes. Yes. Sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, do you have topic that you want to share on the class? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, my topic mm -hmm. for this class is about. Uh, electrical resistivity tomography monitoring okay. in geothermal ERT. sites. ERT on where? In geothermal sites. Oh, geothermal. geothermal sites. Yes. Geothermal sites. Okay. Uh, uh, so for working on the ERT here, do you already have data or uh, uh, you are still uh, learning about the uh, about the uh, about the ERT methods still or what? On what what stage are you are now? Yes, I'm still learning like mm. um, on literature review. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. But okay. I think it's kind of related to my pilot project, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, thank you, Rati. Okay. Uh, so we yes, are I'm moving sorry. on to Muhammad Raka Fauzan. Okay, Muhammad Raka yes, Fauzan. Sir. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Raka, well, uh, what is your uh, uh, proposed topic for the scientific communication assignment? Uh, yeah. So, uh, for me, I'm still not yet get the paper, but mm, okay. uh, for my topic, I wanna. Uh, to search 
related to my uh, final project. It's mm -hmm. about uh, rock saturation and how mm. it's related to uh, elastic property. Oh, okay. Effect of uh, water saturation to water properties, uh, to rock properties. Uh, uh, I, I'm sorry, is it rock properties or elastic properties? Elastic properties. Oh, sorry. Elastic yeah. properties of rocks. Well, you can start with the uh, uh, with the uh, rock physics handbook. Have you have you heard about it? Uh, uh, a handbook of rock physics uh, written by written by ah, let me see. Whether I uh, whether I uh no problem. let's see oh uh, science um, oh no it is not here rock physics handbook the rock physics handbook oh gary mafko uh, have you heard or have you uh, seek for a references of rock physics handbook written by Gary Mafko at at uh, at L? Uh, you can start from that if you don't have any uh, references or um, or uh, paper that you could that you could uh, make for the literature review maybe you could start from from the handbook because it basically uh, uh, contain many physical relations of certain variables to rock properties uh, and it is quite a uh, comprehensive book but the uh, explanation however probably is not that to uh blank okay the, the the explanation is kind of brief and concise because it's it's just like a it's just like a dictionary or it's just like a uh a a well it's a handbook so it's uh, so uh it doesn't tell you about the details on how the experiment or how the relation was uh found or what type of experiment that uh, that produced that such of relation, but it it but it's basically uh, a compile uh, everything that is related to the uh, behavior of uh, physical properties with the rock properties. So you may start from that if you don't have any idea on where to start to working on your. Uh, introduction okay because next week uh, next Thursday uh, we're going to we're going to uh, 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 you, you need to sub well everybody here need to, to submit only the introduction part of their proposed topic okay of their proposed paper okay okay uh, I hope that's helpful for you Raka. yeah thank you so much Mr. you're welcome so, okay okay so we're okay. moving on to Muzaki is Muzaki in the classroom? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, do you have a proposed topic for the uh, scientific communication assignment? Uh, yes, I have, sir. Uh, my topic is... Mm -hmm. tensile, and what is it? Tensile strength testing machine for fiber material characterization. Tension, tension strength? Tensile. tensile oh, tensile. Strength. Okay, tensile. Tensile. Yeah. Tensile strength testing machine. Uh, tensile strength testing machine. Ma C H I N E for fiber. Yeah, fiber. Uh, what fiber? Polymer fiber or natural fiber? Nano or fiber. Nano fiber. Okay. Nano fiber. Okay, so is it uh, part or is it part of your uh, 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 
final project or is it something that you are working independently with uh, some researcher also, or maybe? Yeah, this is uh, my project with some researcher. Oh, and is it uh, part of your final project or not? Yes, it's a part mm, of okay, my project. Okay. And your advisor is uh, Pak Yudi or Pak Mifra? Uh, Mifta. Oh, okay, Pak Mifta. Okay, so with Pak Dewa uh, also, I guess. Uh, no, right now. Okay, yes. only with only with Pak Mifta. Okay, so. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you for sharing your uh, topic at the moment, uh, so that we can move on to Rivka Fikria. Rivka Fikria. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. uh, could you tell us about the uh, proposed topic that you want to uh, uh, do for your paper and presentation assignment? My topic is about corium behavior in the overhead reactor. Corium? Corium behavior corium. in the lower. Yes, oh, corium. corium? Cor, cor, corium. Uh, how yeah. do you spell it? Cor, is it C from cor? R, C O R C O R R R E I Corium U M, U -M. Yeah, okay. yeah. Corium behavior in, in the lower lower reactor. Lower head reactor. Lower head reactor. Okay, so uh, so uh, so the substance is corium that you use in order to to get the uh, atom uh, fission. I guess is it a fission? Uh, this is a fission re reaction, right? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, uh, and it is part of your final project. Yes, yes sir. Okay, with Pak uh, Selendra or Pak Dwi or Pak Silik. Uh, no, sir, with Mr. Asril. No, with, with Pak Asril. Okay. Okay, good, good. So, Asril also have uh, a topic for uh, the students' uh, research. That's good. Okay, uh, thank you, Rivka, for sharing your topic uh, with the class so that we can move on to Nabila Ashifa. Hello, sir. Yes. Uh, so, uh, the topic that I chose is going to mm -hmm. be different from my final project. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be analyzing consumer behavior using the agent-based model. Analyzing? Method. Consumer behavior. Oh, consumer behavior. Consumer yes. behavior yes. using, using the agent-based agent model. model. Yeah, okay. method, yeah. Agent-based model. Okay, so we already so we have uh, three people to the, uh, in the class today who are going to talk about agent based model so hopefully we could have uh, more uh, we can have additional uh, 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 knowledge from it what what uh, uh, agent based model is and how we use it or or what is the benefit of using this method, et cetera, and so on. Because we have three people who are going to present about this uh, method, uh, even though the, the object will be different from one topic to another, because the, one is the um, consumer behavior in e-commerce, and then uh, the other one is, uh, oh no, we, we have, two people who are going to talk about uh, agent-based model. The, the other one is uh, sentiment analysis, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, do you have, have a specification on the consumer behavior? Because I guess Ayundia is going to uh, look for the consumer behavior in e-commerce. Uh, what is your objective here? What is, what is the target? Uh, what is your... Uh, uh, your uh, study. I think I think it's going to be the beauty online market. Sir. Beauty online market. Okay. So this is for more specific because of the beauty online market. Hmm. 
where, where, whereas the uh, Ayunda is going to look for the e-commerce, which is uh, uh, similar to the uh, uh, related to uh, uh, application of uh, Shopee and Tokopedia, etc. And so on. Okay. Uh, thank you, Nabila. Uh, thank you, now we are moving on to Hauda. How the Alifia? Um, hello, Chef. Okay. Okay. So, uh, uh, can you share your uh, proposed topic for the class? Uh, my topic is deep learning for COVID 19 detection based on X ray. Deep learning for COVID 19 detection. Deep learning COVID 19 detection based on X ray. Based on X X ray X ray. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, is there a study about uh, about uh, X ray application uh, for COVID patient? I guess. Uh, it's uh, my research without uh, on part. Not not related with my final project. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is that is interesting because. Uh, COVID nineteen is a, uh, a, 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 a an illness that causes respiratory uh, system uh, breaks, right? So, so yeah. if we could, and then uh, people uh, only knew that in order to detect COVID, you need to have PCR mm -hmm. and also swab test, etc., and so on. Yeah. So, uh, other method, okay, in order for us to to see the uh, the effect. Uh, COVID-19 uh, infection yeah. to our body is using X-ray mm. and, uh, and uh, any other uh, tomography method basically, or, or imaging method. So, so it is, okay, so yeah. it's uh, an interesting topic. Uh, yeah. and, and for your final project, it will be a collaborative uh, work with UNPAD, as you mentioned. Uh, not sure. I use uh, instrument in ITB. Mm. Uh, with uh, Freddy Harianto. And uh, are not, you not going same. to have, okay, okay. Uh, are you going to have a co-advisor from UNPAD or you only gather the data from there? Oh, uh, data from web, uh, oh, okay. I oh, search. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, that's very good. Okay, thank you, Howda. Yeah, uh, yes, thank you. Okay, uh, we are moving on to Dearly Aprilia. Yes, sir. Okay, Dearly, could you share to the class about your proposed topic? Uh, okay, uh, so I've chosen topics about geophysics, specifically mm -hmm. geoelectric methods uh, for groundwater potential identification. Uh, okay, uh, geoelectric method. Uh, geo geoelectric method. method. For groundwater uh, identification. For groundwater identification. Uh, groundwater identification. Okay, so is it a part of your uh, final project? Uh, it's not. Sorry. Oh, it's not. Oh, okay. So <laughs> you you just uh, okay. So that but that's but that is good. Okay, because I guess uh, in the uh, last class in in semester two. Uh, 2020 2021 and also in the last year uh, I also have uh, students who talks about this topic so that uh, probably uh, if you uh, able to look for look for an example in my uh, in my uh, uh, in my YouTube video uh, mm -hmm. you you could see that I think there is one or two. Uh, there, uh, there is one or there are two uh, students who are already talk about uh, this method that you can learn from them. Uh, have you learned about the uh, about the uh, uh, groundwater uh, about the uh, groundwater system and also the uh, cycle, the 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 the, uh, the water cycle? Have you learned about it? Uh, actually, I. Uh, haven't learned, sir. Mm, okay, 
So you can start from a, a basic uh, geology or a basic uh, physical geography book uh, in order to study about the uh, groundwater system and also the hydrologic, uh, uh, hydrologic uh, cycle uh, as your starting point. And then you could also uh, uh, move on. So after you study about the object, which is the groundwater system, you could uh, study the method, which is the geoelectric method. So oh. at least you need to have two books. Okay, one is the physical geology or a physical geography book. Uh, uh, you don't need to be. Uh, you don't need to be uh, 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 too details. Okay, you know you don't need to be uh, too much uh, details in 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 uh, reviewing this. Part because you only need to understand how is the groundwater uh, the groundwater system is and also how uh, the hydrologic system uh, works. Okay, uh, the hydrologic uh, cycle. Okay, the hydrologic mm -hmm. cycle works. And then uh, on the other book, you could study about the geoelectrical method, such as the uh, uh, ERT or self potential or uh, complex resistivity. Uh, induced polarization uh, and their application, obviously, for water detection, for groundwater detection. Okay, because uh, geoelectric method uh, have uh, branches. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, is the uh, is the uh, ERT method or electrical resistivity method, uh, uh, electrical resistivity tomography. And then the second one is the self potential method. And then the third one is the induced polarization method. And then the fourth one is the complex resistivity method. And the other one is the um, induced polarization, uh, uh, spectral IP. And then the other one is spectral uh, induced polarization method. Uh, well, well, well. The most known one, okay. The the most uh, uh, used method, uh, I believe, uh, is uh, is three, which is the ERT, the sub potential, and also the time domain uh, IP. So look for them, okay. Look for the uh, the application of the uh, of the uh, geoelectrical method, uh, which uh, relates to the detection of the water or of the groundwater system on a certain area, for example. So from there, you, you might have that, you, you, you could have a sound uh, or a firm uh, background uh, for your uh, introduction, okay? For your introduction that you need to submit in next week, okay? Ho I hope that helpful for you. Okay, thank you, sir, for your okay. advice. Okay, <laughs> welcome, okay. Uh, moving on to Aleta, Aleta Laifania. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, could you share about the uh, topic that you want to uh, working on for the scientific communication class? Uh, actually, I do not have the definite topic and mm -hmm. still looking for the papers, mm -hmm. but I want to discuss about comparational analysis between fundamental and technical analysis of stock. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, could you repeat uh, uh, the, the topic again? Compar I'm comparing. Uh, okay, comparison. Analysis. Comparison analysis. of? Uh, fundamental and technical. Comparison of fundamental and Technical analysis. Technical analysis of the stock prices. On stock prices. Ah, okay, so the comparison between fundamental and technical analysis. Okay, because uh, stock prices can be changed in seconds due to the uh, technical reason. Uh, which is coming out from the behavior of the time series itself, and fundamental, which is coming out from the economic and social background or the uh, situation uh, of the day. Because sometimes when 
there is a issue. Okay, this is the the, the fundamental uh, aspect of a certain stock prices is that uh, whenever uh, Google, for example, uh, oh, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, are you going to look for the stock prices of Indonesian uh, stock market or from outside? Yes, uh, Indonesian. From Indonesian stock market. Okay. So, for example. Uh, uh the stock market uh the stock price of for example Bukalapak, for example whenever there is an issue with uh, ahmad zaki for example he's the ceo uh the stock market the, the the stock price will be increased significantly or decrease significantly in just a second and that is due to the fact that fundamental part with, uh, that is uh that is related to the uh, social issue and also gossip, et cetera, and so on, uh, 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 influence the uh, stock price, even though it is not related to the technical aspect though. Okay, so, so, well, so, uh, yeah, it is also an interesting issue because sometimes stock prices can be uh, increasing, uh, uh, illogically, because a certain issue uh, happened, okay, certain gossip or certain news happens during the day. Okay, okay. Uh, I hope you get the uh, the references uh, well, so that you could start writing on your uh, introduction to be uh, submitted next week. Okay, thank you, Aleta. We are moving on to Muhammad Herdiansyah. Okay, is Herdi in the classroom? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, could you tell us about your chosen topic? Uh, the plain topics that I will discuss in this mm -hmm. course are the relationship of the Ngoi Hemorrhage Fever event in Indonesia with climate relationship factors. Relationship of the Ngoi Hemorrhage Fever. Hemorrhage, hem, hemorrhage. Hem. Oh. Oh, dengue. Oh, okay, dengue. Dengue ham. Okay, uh, dengue. Deng. Yeah, dengue. But uh, you 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 pronounce it as dengue. Dengue hemorrhage. 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 Uh, okay. Relationship of dengue hemorrhage. Hemorrhage. Even in Indonesia. Even in Indonesia. With climate factors, with with uh, climate cli factors, climate factors, factor using mm -hmm. dynamic conditional correlation. Wow, long <laughs> is a is a long title. Using uh, dynamical, uh, uh, I I will just write it as using dynamical model, dynamical model. Okay. Uh, well, well, well. You could, you could uh, specify, or you could uh, 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 write the topic uh, based on the. Is it is it uh, part of your uh, final project? Oh no. Uh, okay. The so uh, is this a a topic that you are interested in? Yes. Oh, okay. 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 So, uh, have you have? the relevant uh, uh, references for working on this topic yes mm -hmm. uh, the final project uh method uh, itu same, same method of the final project mm. oh, okay okay so uh hopefully you uh, the uh, paper that you're looking for uh and also the uh, are you going to present the data or just the result from that uh, from that paper? Result. Oh, okay. 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 So good. Uh, thank you, Herdi, for sharing your uh, topic with the rest of the class. So we are so we are moving on to Fadila, Salsabila. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, could you share the topic of your interest? Um, or your proposed topic? I have chosen topic about seismic 
and mm -hmm. uh, it's about determination of earthquake shake mm, okay. of ions. determination of earthquake of earthquake earthquake, earthquake location or earthquake source or earthquake what uh, earthquake shake oh shake yeah shake of earthquake shake uh, using or, uh, you or... see uh, eh, from a city using HVSR micro tremor method. Oh, micro tremor. Okay, micro tremor. Okay, so is this part of your, uh, is this also part of your final project? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, we have one, we have one, two, three, four, uh, who are, okay, uh, we have, 19 people who already have their uh, topic, uh, well, a proposed topic because uh, we still have a week, okay? If, you, if you're planning to change your topic, uh, it is okay for me, uh, but if you're going to stick with the uh, topic that you are uh, mentioned today, that will be better because you have a, you already set the topic on your mind uh, that you are going to working on, uh, and hopefully the uh, the uh, process of writing your introduction, okay, the the, the introduction will not be as uh, difficult as may seem. Okay, we have uh, Hans, Timothy, Simon Joren, I guess. Okay, Hans. Hello, sir. Hello, Hans. Hello. Could you share? Uh, about the uh, proposed topic that you want to uh, working on for the scientific communication class. Uh, my topic is about magnetotelluric method to analyze underground. The, for for what underground? Underground surface. Underground. Un, uh, okay, so uh, underground surface. Uh, uh, is the target uh, uh, okay? Underground surface could mean anything. So, uh, if 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 I if I may to specify uh, the uh, the object, is it related to geothermal, uh, groundwater, or petroleum, or is it general at the moment? Maybe general, sir. Okay. For uh, at the moment, you just going to talk about the general application of uh, MT method for subsurface uh, detection or investigation. Okay, subsurface investigation. Yeah. Is it part of your final project, or you just chose this topic? This is about my final project. Mm, okay. Okay. So it's part of your uh, literature review for your uh for your current uh, final project okay that's good that's good okay thank you hans for sharing uh the uh, proposed topic you, uh we still have i don't know uh we do we have muhri iza or zafiri fadli in the classroom uh, yes sir yes sir i was like okay zafiri uh, have you have uh, a proposed topic that you want to working on for scientific communication class? I think I'm not fixed yet. Mm -hmm. But what is uh, what is on your mind at the moment? Um, yeah, I'm still bad. I'm still not decided yet. Mm. Mm. Well, uh, if you are. If you're a little bit confused, uh, uh, or, 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 or do you have, or, or, or are you working on a certain final project at the moment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, well, you could choose that as a oh. proposed topic. Or if you have any interest, uh, for example, uh, are you doing uh, sports or hobbies? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. I can use my hobbies. Uh, you, can oh. you can choose a topic that is related to your hobbies, for example, if your hobby in, in 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 games okay in video games you could yeah. tell us about the uh, physics of a certain video games how object detection in 
uh, video games, etc., and so on. Because mm -hmm. we 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 have a students who talks about uh, about that. I guess it was in the last class or in the uh, in the last year's class. So uh, uh, keep in mind that if you are uh, confused with the if you if if you're not going to touch about uh, you're not going to touch the final project that you have yeah. uh, at the moment, you could choose the thing that you are interested. For example, take it from your hobby, or for or the thing that you are uh, that you are doing for your leisure time. For example, or uh, you could uh, speak about the physics of badminton, the physics of football, the physics of basketball, or even if you are interested in in cooking. Okay, in cooking meals, for example, you could uh, study about the uh, certain uh, scientific aspect of cooking or physical or, uh, or physical aspect of cooking. For example, how, uh, for example, there the in the past uh, scientific communication class, there is a student who talks about the uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, the porosity effect of coffee of on brewing coffee, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, uh, the, the 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 quality of brewing coffee can be determined use uh, can be determined from the uh, the uh, porosity uh, of a certain uh, coffee grain. Okay, which is kind of an interesting topic because uh, uh, he talks about uh, how a certain uh, mix of coffee grains, okay, can produce a good quality uh, brewing coffee, for example. And it was on the scientific communications class uh, last year, not last semester, but it's last year. So uh, whatever, so, uh, so hopefully, okay, Zafiri, in Tuesday, uh, when we are having the workshop, you could, tells us or you can tell me about the proposed topic for the uh, scientific communication assignment okay all right, all right. Mm -hmm. okay okay now to be determined t b d okay what uh we also okay so we also have uh, arfian who is still at the moment so this is also to be determined and muhri is that Okay, uh, is Muhri Iza in the classroom? No? Okay, so with that, I guess uh, we're going to... Yes, we oh, okay, is this... Okay, Rifki, so... Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I, I kind of forget because you are not uh, on the... Uh, are you going to take this class as your uh, permanent... Uh, uh, as your uh, permanent uh, class yes, for yes, the semester? I am, sir. Oh, okay. Yes, I am. Okay, okay, so uh, make sure that you do your PRS uh, today because I'm guessing that the uh, deadline for PRS is going to be on 11.59 p.m. today, right? Yes, or tonight? It is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, uh, so Rifki Nafis. No, with F. Nafis. Okay, so uh, what is your proposed topic for the uh, scientific communication assignment? Um, I haven't decided on a mm -hmm. specific okay. topic or the title, but True. I am currently working for the uh, Chitarum River under supervision of Memnina. And the oh, okay. project is a uh, water waste cleaning robot using IoT oh, okay. technology. Oh, that's cool. Water cleaning uh water waste cleaning robot robot for chitaru mm, water waste water waste cleaning robot for chitaru river wow, that, that is that is a very good topic thank you chitaru river well well if, if the topic itself uh, well i guess you are still on the pre preliminary stage on this so if you are uh, planning to talk about the uh about uh, well, uh, I'm not expect you to uh, talk about the current project, but if you are, but if you are, if you have a reference, or you have references or paper that 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 
tell us about the application of other robot, okay, other robot uh, in certain place that also work on water water waste cleaning or water cleaning, that would be fine, okay, because uh, I'm not expecting you to show us about the about the uh, current application or the current robot that that uh, you guys are working on, but uh, I guess you are. But I guess you have that one references that you're going to use, right? So uh, you can also present that uh, paper. Okay, you can also uh, present that topic from that paper for this class. Okay, so so uh, uh, because the uh, we can have some kind of a uh, 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 we can have some kind of a. Uh, talk or a discussion about how can we apply a certain uh, machine or a certain robot in this case uh, in order to clean a uh, polluted river etc and so on so uh, this is uh, this is a good topic to talk about in the class even though uh, the setting is only a, a a three credit class but still it is a good topic to be discussed in the class. Okay, thank you, Rifki. Yeah, thank you, sir. Welcome. Uh, does anybody, uh, this, uh, is there any uh, students here who haven't got called yet? Is there any uh, people who are not, or who, or who haven't uh, tell their chosen topic is? Well, okay then. So, uh, if that is the case, then I guess we could uh, adjourn our class today. But I'm just going to remind you again uh, for uh, writing your introduction. Okay, uh, please. I want to stop share this one first, and then I'm going to share the uh, screen so that I can show you the edunex. Okay. In edunex of our class, okay, let me uh, change the mode first. In module four, uh, I have uh, submit or I have upload a certain uh, slides or, or, or PDF slides that you can have uh, in order for you to write your introduction part. But it is also covering the uh, presenting information with illustration, how you present your data in graph, in figures, in map, etc., and so on. So uh, even though I'm not going to talk about this in details, okay, in details as the last lecture, but I hope that you could access it, okay, and then see the uh, the description on the PDF. Uh, file that is uploaded here. And also you could go to this link that you can watch uh, in YouTube, okay, in YouTube. And the speaker of this uh, video mostly are coming from uh, American and uh, UK uh, university or even in Europe uh, where they can uh, talk to you about the things that you need to prepare in order to write your paper, and then how you present your uh, graph, figures, and data in an immaculate way. Because uh, 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 the purpose of graph, figures, etc., and even maps, contour maps uh, on your paper is for uh, showing the audience or telling the audience about the result of your uh, study or about the variability of a certain physical quantities that measured using a certain method. So from there, we could have or we can interpret about a certain phenomena or a certain process that happening on that place or on a certain uh, specimen in the laboratory, yeah. for example. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to let you uh, go for <laughs> For uh, for this uh, session, because uh, we already uh, obtained our objective for 
uh, today, which is to gather information on your selected topic for paper, for uh, next paper and presentation. So good luck and please, uh, 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 please use the references and the uh, books that we already cover during the class so that you could have an effective time to working on you and finally in and, and, and hopefully uh, you can use the same method in to produce the uh, to produce the the uh, whole paper that is requested on the class okay so but but for now okay i'm just going to remind you again uh, what i require you or i'm going to ask you to do for next week, okay, for next Thursday. For next Thursday is you to submit the in, only the introduction part, okay? The introduction part of your uh, selected topic, okay? Introduction part of your selected topic in the shape of paper, okay? Not, we're not going to have presentation yet, okay? We're not going to have presentation yet. We're going to uh, write a paper, but only for the introduction part. Okay. Okay. Is there any question at the moment before we're closing our class? I am me, sir. Hello. Yes, please. Yes. Hello. Um, I I want to asking you that the introduction is the same to the okay. template of mm -hmm. the final project of the paper. I mean, like the background to the goals of the project, the introduction part of the- Yeah, uh, the, the, yeah. the introduction is the first part, which is the background, which is where you put the uh, background information, the objective of the study, and also the, uh, uh, well, if you don't have any uh, rough, uh, if you don't have the uh, rough uh, uh, outline at the moment, then that's fine. You could, you just write about the objective, the uh, background information, and also the aims, and also the proposed study that you are going to work. Okay, uh, please refer again the the uh, slideshow, the, uh, sorry, the, the PDF slide on how to write title, introduction, body, and presentation and conclusion. And the, uh, if you have, if you also have access to, if you also have access to, from research to manuscript or scientific paper and presentation or, or, or any books that will help you in order to write an introduction, please refer to that book uh, often so that you could have that uh, experience and mindset to readily uh, write the thing that you want in your uh, introduction part. Okay. Okay. Is there any question? Is there any more question about this? Okay. Uh, so thank you all for attending the class. We're going to meet you again on Tuesday morning. Uh, where we're going to have a uh, workshop or a discussion about how uh, a, a discussion about uh, about your progress basically on writing the introduction. Okay, uh, I'm going to stop the screen. Okay, and then uh, stop the recording.